Yeah, I would say it's a piece um, that it makes me connect with the other ones. It makes me feel really attached to them, even though we are being really focused on what we need to do, that we need to deliver that job and being really connected to what we are doing. But in a way, we are, yeah, we are, we are connected to one another, but being really individual, like being really with you. And this makes me feel really recharged and to have this empower of yeah just going to the extremes and to, yeah to go beyond what what you expect in that moment and to to live the, the momentum the present moment it makes me feel like yeah i just want to be there and i don't think about anything else mm. felt like I was getting out of energy. Like I realized that I was really looking for my, my colleagues to, to get the energy. I was like, ah, okay, this is also how I work. I need to feed my energy with them from them yeah. in able to keep on going. Mm. And then when I found that, she was like, no, I want to have your own journey. And I was like, ah, okay. But now I, I do have the, uh, I, I do have them in my mind. Like, okay, and even, of course you see them still, mm. but so I, I close myself in that sense from them like you still have your focus out but and you're aspiring and everything mm. but not too much like you know going and search for their um energy but i have it in my mind still mm. because i did do it naturally it's been quite fun um, mostly because we we are spending a lot of time on this big sort of impro section that we have. And I've been surprised at moments of how quickly your body can change a decision or that you feel like your full momentum is going somewhere and then you just decide no, not there and like this sort of quickness of the amount of decision being made within a short period of time mm. uh, has been quite fun to play with. And mm. has been also, yeah, that surprised me as well sometimes of, mm, yeah, this, this sort of constant renewing of ideas that mm. has to happen. Yeah. And of course you fall into habits because it will always happen. Yeah. But I've till now been quite happy that it, I, I do feel enough sort of versatility within every decision that I make. Everyone has a completely different uh, task because I mean, of course we are individuals and we are completely different one from another, right? Yeah. And we dance really different with different qualities, expressions, rhythms and you know. Um, so myself, for example, in the very beginning, I had this uh, task of being really explosive, but in a way really content. So it was a bit, you know, I was a bit struggling because I was like, okay, it needs to be big, like explosive uh, and to the max, but also a bit content. So I was a bit, okay. And I kept on playing, playing, and then. For me, it had to do a lot with uh, this reverse task. Yeah. Partly because I think it, it, I also felt that it freed me up a lot in, in sort of the set ways that I was improvising and then just suddenly to think of like how do I, how would it be if I reverse everything like somehow a whole other world opened up and a whole sort of new way of awkward moving. What I really like is the kind of this, I see I see it as like a, if you're on a trampoline, like you're bouncing and then how you can do it reverse. So instead of like ding, you go like ding. So mm. I had it with the movements that you go like, mm. yeah, different accents that I uh, was not 
um, I would have never thought to go in that place. Mm. Yeah, mm. and like little sh um, groovy uh, directions with mm. the body that I would never have thought of. Yeah. You tend to not get stuck into the same mm -hmm. movement quality, so you always kind of challenge yourself in a way, no? Um, unconsciously you're doing it because it's what we, we want in a way, or what I want, no? Mm. To uh, go farther and farther of my limits, mm. of my borders. So then it's when you just start, ah, oh, oh, maybe if I do that or that. So you just do it in the moment mm. and you just explore different paths. And sometimes mm. when you don't overthink, because that's also another thing of, yeah, uh, dancers that we tend to overthink things too much sometimes. Yeah. So when you just clear up your mind and you just let yourself go, you can go super like into uh, really extreme situations and sometimes you really, I mean, I found myself in here also that I really surprised myself. I mean, for me it was really fun. Also because somehow I think I connected to it quite quite well, maybe just because naturally I have, I kind of like to have this sort of, a lot of impulses and then to make them unpredictable and to just follow them in my body. Like a techno dancer trying to do a ballet class so that there were certain shapes that were present mm. or aiming to reach certain things, but then they are being broken or they, they go into yeah. this kind of rave feeling. I know that I'm very flowy, so sh she saw it and she's like, ah, I like that keep it and now I want you to play with it mm. so yeah in that sense then you improve in your own style what you f what you feel natural mm. but then also she encourages you to take others was something very interesting for me because she asked about my quality she said like I really like your quality in there please keep on going with that and so she pushed me to go further than what I normally am like where I normally would stop so in a way i really really enjoy it. I, I i really do when uh, uh choreographers or uh, yeah any mm -hmm. dancer know that is directing you then when they come to you and they start to just dig and dig you know until they find the mm. like the as marie said also the golden nugget yeah that it makes it you feel no like okay i'm fulfilled yeah and i feel it and mm -hmm. you feel it too so Vi på Skånes Dansteater vill nu höra din röst. Vill du dela din upplevelse av föreställningen Remind Me I'm Not Dead och därmed bidra till dansforskning och dansarkiv? Läs mer om projektet och anmäl ditt intresse på Skånes Dansteaters hemsida. Eller hör av dig till mig, Celine, som arbetar med projektet Bevara rörelse.